Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of Hydops fetalis, soft tissue edema and fetal pleural affair. The pregnancy, the duration of the pregnancy is about 26 weeks. You can see the amniotic fluid is increased in volume. Now you can see the fetal abdomen and fetal cardiac activity is visible along with pleural effusion. You can see the pleural effusion. This is the fetal head. And you can see the fetal soft tissue edema on the fetal head. Adopt spitalis is a condition in the fetus characterized by an accumulation of fluid or edema in at least two fetal compartments. By comparison, Hydrops elentois or Hydrops amnion is an accumulation of excessive fluid in the elentoic or amniotic space respectively. You can see the soft tissue edema on the fetal head. Absent cranial ward, the base of skull is small with absent or decreased interior and middle cranial fossa. The cranial base is covered by a vascular mass. In this case, the head is ecomeco normal except the fetal soft tissue edema. Hydops fetalis, fetal hydops is a serious fetal condition defined as abnormal accumulation of fluid in two or more fetal compartments, including ascites, not seen in this case, pleural effusion, seen in this case, pericardial effusion, and skin edema, also found in this case. Now you can see the face of the patient, these, these are the lips. But in some case, it may be associated with polyhydramnias and placental edema. Polyhydramnias is seen in this case. This is placenta. You can see the nose and eyes, lips of the fetus. Again, you can see the face of the fetus. Soft tissue edema. Now you can see the pleural effusion. No ascites is seen. No fluid is seen in the fetal abdominal cavity. Less fluid is seen in the chest. Pleural effusion. Now the non-immune hydrops vitalis occurs when a disease or medical condition disrupts the body's ability to manage fluids. There are three main causes for this. Types heart or lung problems, severe anemia, thalassemia and genetic defects including Turner's syndrome. The exact cause depends on which form a baby has. Now you can see the atrium and the ventricles of the fetal heart. In conclusion, even a rare case of fetal ascites can be managed successfully. Fetal the outlook for a drops fetalis depends on underlying conditions, but even with treatment the survival rate for the baby is low. Only about 20% of babies diagnosed with the hydrops fetalis before birth will survive to delivery. 
and of those babies only half will survive after delivery. You can see the fetal cardiac activity. In conclusion, even a rare case of fetal ascites can be managed successfully. Fetal ascites is commonly considered as a part of precursor of fetal hydrops, which has various etiologies. You can see the lungs of the fetus with a massive amount of fluid around the lungs. So the, you can see the vertebra, the spine of the fetus, so the pleural uh, effusion is an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the chest cavity. As the fluid increases, it can limit the development of lungs and compromises the heart function, causes a pleural effusion may include chromosomal abnormalities, heart conditions, lungs problems, or abnormal lymph drainage. You can see the fetal gut loops, and you can see the fetus abdomen. Fetal abdomen has no fluid in its interior. The fluid is only seen in the chest cavity. Immune hydrops fetalis is no longer very common due to advances in the prevention of hemolytic diseases of the newborn. Non-immune hydrops fetalis occurs in approximately one of every thousand births. About half of unborn babies with hydrops fetalis don't survive. Now you can see the lower limbs of the fetus. The genitals are also visible, male genital. This is these are the both femurs. Serial ultrasound examinations should be performed every one to two weeks for eight to twelve weeks after exposure. The most obvious ultrasound machine and manifestation of fetal anemia is hydrops. By the time, time ultrasound evidence of hydrops is present, the fetal hemocritic is likely to be less than 20%. Now again you can see the fetal lower limbs, genitals are also visible and this condition may be misdiagnosed as preeclampsia. Fetal hydrops can be diagnosed on fetal ultrasound examination when there is abnormal fluid collection within two fetal compartments. You can see the amniotic fluid is increased in volume. So the number of babies who develop immune hydrops fetalis has dropped due to medicines called rogam. This drug is given as an injection to pregnant mothers who are at risk for RH incompatibility. You can see the umbilical cord. Blood flow is also visible. The, this drug, Rogam, prevents the babies from making antibodies against the babies red blood cells so this drug prevents the mother to make antibodies against the blood cells of the fetus again you can see the lower limbs increased amniotic fluid fetal head fetal hand this is the fetal upper limb this is the hand of the fetus so you can find some important information in the description of this video please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button
Thanks.